I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Peter McGrail. Wow, what a performance. He was brought in here to give you the 10 rounds. You made him quit on his stool and dropped him in the fourth. How'd you feel? Yeah, they over the moon, do you know what I mean? It's <laughs> fucking, every time I fight in the pool, everyone's behind me and it's fucking just a belt, do you know what I mean? It's proper boss, make me, make me feel fucking over the moon. But yeah, they, I watched the, I watched Espinosa today. First time I watched him, to be honest. I, I knew he was an orthodox, Paul told me he was an orthodox. Uh, but I only watched them today. I watched uh, a few highlights of them against Cash Farouk. It was a good fight that uh, I boxed Cash in the amateurs. I had a good fight with him. And, uh, obviously, when he was representing his country, I was representing man. And uh, he um, obviously went to 10, went to ten rounds yeah, of Cash, didn't he? Yeah. And it, it was a good fight, you know what I mean? So I was watching it today and I was coming in and knew he was tough, you know what I mean? Cash was hitting him with every shot, he was hitting Cash back. So I was uh, half expecting uh, like a few rounds. I got a few rounds the most rounds. I oh, know I went six on my debut with Ed, but. Yeah, it was uh, definitely my toughest fight today, up to now, and uh, I, sh I showed him at what level I'm at, you know what I mean? I showed him a level above him, and, and, he, and he was a step up, so it's, uh, yeah, it's good times, and good times ahead, and I'm ready to push on now. That's what I mean, you, you push on, I mean, 6-0 six, six no now, 10, 4, 5 and all. That Young Joe, Joe's 6 and all. Sorry. Ah, Joe's, flying, six, yeah, Joe's he's flying. He's flying. after me. He's <laughs> <laughs> 6 and all, the little cunt. <laughs> you know, no, man, fair play no, to him. No, no. I'll touch on Joe, because I'll do what I touch on Joe, but 5 and all, first 10 rounder, headline in the Olympia in Liverpool. Where do you push on? Where do you go to now? Is it the MS Bank? <laughs> Listen, it's, uh, it's no one under no, no one yet. I just leave it down to my team. Me. I don't, I'm not going to start calling the shots myself. And I'm not going to start saying I want to fight him, I want to fight him. Like, I'll fight anyone. I've said it in interviews before. Whoever Paul wants to put me in, Prabell and my team around me. Whoever they want to put me in, I'll get in with you, know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not scared to fight no one. Boxed everyone all over the years, all over the world, you know what I mean? Since I was a kid, so this is just standard for me. And I knew I was, I didn't know I was going to win, but I knew I was, I was I'm level above, uh, I'm level above Espinosa. And I showed that tonight, you know what I mean? I, uh, he was in there, he was, he was taking good shots and, 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 and he got through with a few, through, through a bit of... I wouldn't say mistakes, but a bit of switching off at times where I've got everyone chatting Peter McGrail, do you know what I mean? I'm thinking, I want to get this guns out of you, but it's, uh, nah, it's, it's a good learning fight for me as well, even even though I got him out of there in, uh, I think I've done five full rounds of him, so it's, uh, yeah, all things are positive, Andrew. Brilliant crowd for me. Uh, got the win, step up, fifth fight, headline my first show. Just, yeah, everything's good and everything's looking forward, looking uh, brilliant going forward. And uh, it's good times for me, me, I, Joe, and the family. It's good yeah. times for the pool boxing, not all scousers are all on the cards, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's great, it's great. I'm an honorary scouser, this is my seventh time in this city. I'm always covering the fight nights in Liverpool, so. I'll adopt you, I'll adopt you if you want. What team should I support, though? You know, <laughs> what team should I support, Liverpool? I'm an Everton, me. Everton, and I'm Everton. I'm a Celtic yeah. man up north, yeah, so. I'm all proper scousers and Evertonian, so. Yeah, I'm a proper scouser then. Yeah, yeah just for touching you. Uh, your young brother Joe yeah, there, you were sitting ringside watching this fight, 19 year old kid, cut, couldn't throw his right hand after the, the second round, what was going through your mind when the cut happened and obviously he couldn't use his right hand? Look, he come out there first two rounds, absolutely fucking pinging the, pinging the kid with anything, you know what I mean, fighting him up, had the kid's head gone, hitting him with everything, hitting him with bombs and then he's come out for the third and just went throwing his right hand and I think we all knew there was like shutting up with his hand, you know what I mean, so... And he got a, and as you said, it was an head clash, it's a cut, like all this, it's fucking, what, his sixth fight, as you said, he's 19, he done a valuable six rounds his last fight, valuable six rounds there, come like, when he's my age, imagine him, when he's my age, he's going to, gonna be my he's going to be an animal, he's, he's in the gym, but I don't, we don't really, we never really spar, we do a bit of tech, that's about it, but he's in the gym, sparring fucking Nick Ball, Andrew Kane, Bradley Strand, and then we're going down to Sheffield, getting world class sparring, going to... Where else people are coming in the gym, going to lead sparring, and he's just about with his sparring. Do you know what I mean? It's a uh, he's a uh, he's absolutely fucking in a brilliant stage. You know, at a brilliant stage, and uh, I'm very excited for his career and where, and where it's going to go and how it's going to unfold. Because I'll be right there alongside him. I think I will. I'm excited for both of your careers. But I, I touched on you. I, I said to young George, you're both super bantamweights. You look at that super bantamweight division. I don't know if you're going to hang around super bantamweight, but if you look at that super bantamweight division, you've got Shabazz Masood against uh, uh, Bateson coming up in next month. You've got yourself. You've got your brother. The skill set. 
between you guys, the, the level of skill that the, the for me when you look at the the, the, yeah, yeah. the fighters in that, so yeah, yeah. just here in the UK, I mean the skill set's unreal. Are you excited to be there? Listen, it's great. You know what I mean? I'm uh, obviously you look at like the top five. I'm uh, that's where I want to be. I don't want to be top five. I want to, I want to be number one. I believe I'm number one. But obviously I'm I'm, I'm new to the pro game. Some of these people who've been in the top three, they've been pro for years. You know what I mean? But I believe I can get fast tracked, and I believe I'm good enough to be there now. So as I said, I'm, I'm not going to start calling no names. But I leave it down to my team, and I believe very soon we're going to be in that number one spot in the UK, and then we're going to push on from there. It's uh, just a matter of time. You know I like people calling out names. Yeah, listen, <laughs> as I said, I leave it down to my team. I, I don't believe I need to start calling out names. Mm. I believe my performances in the ring are going to show that. And I'm not scared of anyone in Britain. I, I, I'll fight anyone, but as I said, it's down to my team. Whatever route they want me to go, I'll go. Whether it's not down that route, whether it's the other route, it's time to just go stay for the world title. I'll just do what I do, and I believe that my team now is going to guard me correctly. And I'm going to and I'm going to make a lot of money in this boxing game, and I'm going to become a world champion and continue to make my family proud, which is what I've done since day dot when I started boxing. That's amazing, man. That's absolutely beautiful to see. One final one for me, then. What's next? Listen, I've heard I've got a fight in December. I don't know whether I can announce it yet. I'm not sure, but it's uh, it's not in the UK, and I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, uh, I'll fight anywhere. I'll, I'll fight anyone. I just I want to stay busy. Now that that was my first fight in six months. You know what I mean? So. I need to just, I felt like my first four fights, I built, I built a lot of momentum and I was flying, you know what I mean? And then them six months out, I wouldn't say I've lost, I didn't lose much momentum because I've just put a good performance in there. But say I had that fight there four or five weeks after my fourth fight, I probably would have put a better performance in, wouldn't I? Do you know what I mean? Just, I don't even know what it is, you know, I wouldn't say I was rusty there, I went, I went rusty, but... It's just when you've got that momentum and, you, and you're staying active, you're staying busy, you just, you just seem to progress more and, and get better and better. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to stay on my team now. I need to just, listen, I want to fight. I've got out of, I've got out of there. I've got no injuries. I don't, did I get a little neck? I don't know. Got a little neck on did the I, yeah. On it's, uh, that's, that's for all that. That'll go. My hands are sound. No injuries. And listen, I, I, I'm ready to go again very, very soon. Do you know what I mean? Which, as I said, I heard it in December. So that should be announced soon. And uh, yeah, ready to go. Good start to the end of the year. Good stuff, man. Listen, good end, to the end of the year. Good, end to, good, 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 start, good end to the end of the year. Good start to 2023. Yeah. Listen, Peter, well done tonight. Well done to your jaw as well. And uh, I know you probably want to go and celebrate, so go and do that. And uh, listen, headliner, in only your fifth fight. Can't get better than that. Ah, listen, as I said before, it's been a special night for me, for, for everyone there. It was just no one I was like at the end when I was speaking to everyone. And I could just see everyone. I could see my bed, my family, my brothers, all my mates, just all young kids, all my dad's mates. You know what I mean? It's fucking. It's bossing. That's the first time I've had land here. Like, I just I'm gonna do that loads of times. You know what I mean? I'm fucking only getting started in this pro game, and then when I leave, it's gonna it's gonna move on to our Joe. He, he's gonna obviously be boxing for a bit longer than me. He's got six years on me. The country, you know what I mean? He's fucking flying. So yeah, nah, it's good times for us. Good times for the McDaniels in it, and good time for Liverpool boxing, as I said. There you go then. Listen, Joe did say that you're going to be world champions together, but uh, you can plan. have two and he can have two. That's the plan, that's the plan. Hopefully he gets fucking five, I'm, I'm happy with whatever, but I believe you can both get loads and loads. Excellent stuff. Peter, going to enjoy the night, man. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.